Well, good morning, fourth grade. Before we get started today on our math lesson, uh, we have to acknowledge the fact that it was Aaliyah's birthday on Sunday. So happy birthday, Aaliyah. It was also Mother's Day. And I hope you treated your mother, grandmother, or whatever mother figure takes care of you like gold on Sunday. I know my kids uh, were good to me. So, and I'm glad I get to be their mom. So we uh, finished chapter seven and some of you sent in your chapter seven test and I'm still grading them. Um, and some of you did not. So if you have not sent in your chapter seven test, it was due last night. So um, please send that in uh, today if you did not send it in last night or over the weekend or last week. So we finished chapter seven and we are skipping over chapter eight. Why? Well, I told you that we were going to be skipping over chapter eight uh, because it is the geometry chapter. And this is what we are doing for geometry this year. So if you already did it, you have already gotten your grade and it helped you a lot if you already did it because everybody did a great job on it. Um, I still have one or two that have not graded it, have not um, handed it in. And remember, that puts a big zero in the grade book. And we talked about averages during our last chapter and that will not help the average. So if you did not show this to me yet, please make sure you do that. And I'll let you know who you are. All right, so um, for geometry, I want you to make sure that you look over your project again. And um, if you wanna watch YouTube videos about geometry, um, anything like look at a book about geometry, you can look at your book about geometry, but we are not actually going to park there at all. Um, I'd like to move forward in our book. We only have a few weeks left of school and I'd like to get through as much of it as we can so that you are ready for fifth grade. So. With that, we are going to jump right into chapter nine, and chapter nine is about fractions. So with fourth grade jumping into chapter nine about fractions, um, third, fourth, and fifth grade are now all officially learning about fractions at the same time. Third, fourth, fifth, did I say that? Okay, um, obviously third grade is not going to get as expensive as fourth grade and fourth grade is not going to get um, go into it as extensively as fifth grade but it's important that we all learn about fractions in order to be ready for next year all right so I hope you did your um, math practice yesterday on math practice Monday and learned your or practiced your multiplication tables because we sure already all right, so let's jump right into fractions. Now, what is a fraction? Okay, well, we have whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, infinity, and then we have fractions. A fraction is a part of a whole number. Okay, it's part of one. All right, so right here, I have one whole stick. Okay, one whole tile, they call it one whole, okay? Let's pretend it is a candy bar and we're going to share it among four people, okay? So I'm gonna break the candy bar into four pieces, okay? So the candy bar is broken into four pieces. One, two, three, Four. Okay, so together these four pieces make up the one whole. Okay, it's still one whole, but it's just broken into four pieces. Well, each piece 
is called a fraction, a fraction of the piece. So if I break off a piece of the candy bar, okay, it's one part of the whole candy bar, the fraction of it, okay? So if you look at this particular one, it was divided into four pieces. So this is one out of four of the pieces, okay? So let's look at what the fraction pieces are called. Okay, so right here, I have one whole circle, one whole circle. And I have one half of it colored in, one half. So one half is a fraction, one half, okay? Now, this line right here, this is actually a division line, okay? That, remember when we talked about division, we said that you could write it in a few different ways. You could use a division sign, or you can use a division sign, or you can use a line, okay? This line right here is a division line, okay? So it's one divided by two, or one divided into two pieces. So we have one divided into, we have one whole, we have one divided by into two pieces, okay? Now, this is one out of two pieces, all right? So we have one whole circle, it's divided into two pieces, and one out of those two pieces is shaded in, okay? So let's see, talk about what the parts of a fraction are called. Okay, so this top number is called the numerator. Okay, let's say that together, numerator, all right? The bottom number is called the denominator, okay? Denominator. So the bottom number, the denominator, tells you how many pieces the whole is broken up into, okay? The numerator, tells you how many of those pieces are shaded in or how many are used or how many are eaten if it's something like food, okay? So in this case, one is the numerator because one and two is the denominator because there are two pieces. So one out of the two pieces, you can say out of when you look at this line, one out of two pieces is shaded in, okay? So, in a fraction, if you had both sides shaded in, let's say it was cut into two pieces, but both sides were shaded in, you would have two over two. Anytime the numerator and the denominator are the same, they equal one whole, all right? So that means, if your fraction is two out of two, it equals one whole. What if your fac fraction is 1,234 out of 1,234? It still equals one whole. So that means your one thing, one whole, is divided into 1,234 pieces, okay? If all 1,234 pieces are shaded in, you, it equals one whole. Anytime the numerator and the denominator are the same, they equal one whole, all right? So a fraction is part of a whole. Numerator is the shaded part. The denominator is how many pieces it is broken into, okay? All right, so let's look at page 500, parts of a region. It says, how do you know, how do you name and show parts of a region? All right, Mr. Aiden's fourth grade class is drawing playground plans. Oh, wouldn't it be great to play on a playground? In the plan on the right, what part of the playground will be grass? Okay, so look at this right here, all right? So it looks like we have grass and then sand for where the playground's gonna be. It says, you can use a fraction to name the part of a whole. Use a fraction to name the part of the playground that is grass. Okay, so 
we have this piece of this piece of land that is divided into four pieces all right so we know that the denominator is four okay how many pieces out of those four pieces are grass three out of four so three fourths of the playground is going to be grass so the numerator is going to be three and the denominator is going to be four okay so three quarters of the playground will be grass different regions can be can be the same part of a whole all right in the example it says show a playground that is one half grass okay so Carly has it's the same piece of land it's the same piece of land that we're using but she has half of it grass half of it sand in triangles okay Steve has grass and sand for half and half um, Pat has a circle okay and she has gravel sand and grass so she has three different things okay but half of it is grass she has one quarter of it gravel one quarter of it sand half of it grass which is also the same as two quarters okay all right so you're going to do the same thing for on page 501 for your classwork today so remember the number of pieces that it is broken into is the denominator and the number of pieces that are shaded in out of all the out of the total number of pieces is the numerator okay and the whole thing is called a fraction all right so on page 502 you are basically doing the same thing except now it's parts of a set okay so i have um So right here, I have five pieces of fruit. These are almost banana bread quality. Okay, so I have five pieces of fruit, all right? So what is the denominator as far as fruit is concerned? Five, okay, I have five pieces of fruit, all right? So my set is fruit. I have five pieces of fruit, all right? So, if I ask you, what fraction of my fruit is bananas? Okay, so I know that I have five pieces of fruit. That is the denominator, okay? So five total pieces of fruit. What fraction of my fruit is bananas? Two out of the five pieces of fruit are bananas, okay? So two fifths are bananas, okay? So two out of the five. You can say two out of five are bananas, all right? So how many, what fraction would be apples? Apples. Okay, so three fifths or three out of five are going to be apples, all right? So what happens when we put the bananas and the apples together? Two and three makes five. So five out of the five is fruit, okay? So that would be the one whole set. Okay, five out of five is fruit, all right? So one whole set is fruit. All right, okay, so look on example A, what part of the fruit are red pears? So you have five red pears, two fifths would be red pears, three fifths would be green pears, okay? Show a set, example B, with seven out of ten, tens apples, okay? So there's 10, 10 pieces of fruit here and seven tenths are apples. 
three tenths are bananas. Okay, so you're going to do that on page 503. Okay, and you're basically going to be doing sets. Now they're just shapes on page 503, um, but you're basically going to be counting all of the pieces. That's your denominator. And then the shaded pieces, whatever color it tells you, um, it tells you to do red. So the number that are shaded red are going to be the numerator, okay? So the total number is gonna be the denominator. So however many are in the whole entire set is the denominator, and the ones that are shaded red are going to be your numerator. So it'll be the number that are red out of the whole number. All right, and that is called a fraction. All right, so I will see you in a few minutes. If you wanna get started on your work, do that right now.